What's up, Multiverse Lovers? Today I am here with my first ever WrestleMania 41 predictions video. A lot of people has done this, but I have never done this because I wasn't really close on who's who will be, uh, well, you know, what will be, you know, the matches for for uh, WrestleMania 40 and everything. So this is my first one doing it. And before I start, um, I gotta tell you two things. So I have two screens now. So. Here it is. Here's the big computer right here. I'm not going to show you because I don't want to spoil it. And then I got the other computer right here. So I'm going to, you know, look back and forth on, you know, some of my research and, and my WrestleMania 41 stuff. And without further ado, let's just get started. So before we actually start, for real. So you know that, um, you know the uh, whole... 2k um 2k storyline that i'm doing we all lost our championships i lost we lost the tag team titles the u.s championship and the wwe the, the, the wwe championship i'll tell you guys later whenever i do another 2k video but i'm about to start for real my first match i have is cody rhodes versus randy orton now here is a good scenario for this for this match. This is gonna be like Batista versus Triple H. This is like more of a student versus the teacher. So I'm thinking that when Cody Rhodes loses the title to The Rock, I think Cody Rhodes is going to turn heel, or Randy Orton might turn heel, probably because of something, or probably he might cost him the match or something. And what I'm maybe thinking is that Cody Rhodes is most likely going to turn heel because of he lost his championship. He, you know, you know, he, I, I really can't really explain that. But about who is going to win this match, I don't know. Because Randy Orton is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And I don't know if I like Cody Rhodes at, um, when this is going to happen, when this is going to happen. I'm mostly going to lean on Cody Rhodes because this will be, you know, more of the. You know, this will be more passing the torch, really. Like the, and this is a, this could also be Randy Orton's last match in WWE or something. And Cody Rhodes, I feel like, oh yeah, I was supposed to tell you why he doesn't have the championship. So, uh, let me tell you something. My dad and my uncle think that Cody Rhodes, or you know, what, also my mom. Everybody thinks all, all three that I just said thinks that Cody Rhodes will hold the title for until next WrestleMania because he deserves it. I really get the point. But who will be his next opponent? That's the thing. We I, don't, I actually don't know. That's why I'm saying The Rock will dethrone uh, Cody Rhodes. And also, Cody Rhodes is retiring when he's 40. I'm for sure. I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm not for sure. But all I'm trying to say is that Cody Rhodes should have a break when he's when he has his you know year or when he turns 40 or something this is a dream match let me tell you about this one so we all know the whole terry twins the lwo and the judgment day rivalry that's going on right now excuse me i think they're gonna have a war games match where we have damian priest's team with ray dragon lee and probably our truth or jay uso and then for the judgment day it's going to be the original four boys which is, um, what am I thinking? Uh, which is Carlito, JD, Finn, and Dom. And then they always have a last minute decision where they're gonna have a fifth member, which is Logan Paul. I'm trying to get my foot on the, on another chair. And then, um, and then they'll have another, and then that's where Damien Priest has to figure out his, where they have, where Damien Priest has to find another fifth person, which is Bad Bunny. Yeah, and then I don't know who's going to get the win, but I feel like that, but later, but later with this match, they are going to have a match. But it's not going to be on a, it's not going to be a singles match, because I think one of them will be at Elimination Chamber. They're gonna have a match, uh, probably like you know, a tag team match with Ray and um, with Ray and Dominic. They're gonna have a match, 
And then that's where we get to the singles match. And then they'll tear the house down. And a lot of people might lean on Logan Paul because he has carried the company. He has carried, you know, the, the celebrity company, the celebrity wrestler. He's like, kind of, well, what I'm trying to say is he's the best celebrity wrestler. That's all. And then Bad Bunny has an undefeated streak at WrestleMania. Since he has, because he hasn't wrestled since, since um, Backlash, and his his first and last match was against um, The Miz and Joe Morrison. I mean, John Mar. Yeah, is it Joe Morrison or John Morrison? Yeah, it's John Morrison. I've been watching too much too much K City, but. In my opinion, I really don't care because I like both of these wrestlers because they are really good in the ring. This one will, this one might have me in tears because, you know, this is one of my favorite tag teams of all time. Even though the Hardys are number one, but these two got me into why you know watching wrestling like the re it was around the reality era. So here it is. So they're current. So obviously the current they're building up, uh, building up a rivalry right now. And I think Xavier Woods t might turn on Kofi, and then probably Xavier Woods will injure Kofi Kingston until February, which is around the Royal Rumble, because you know Kofi Kingston with the Royal Rumble. And they have a match at Elimination Chamber, and then they have another match at WrestleMania. And then that's where, where Big E comes in, right here. He becomes a special guest referee. And this will be known as the New Day Explodes, kind of like uh, Macho Man and Hulk Hogan with uh, the Mega Powers Explodes. And depending on who gets the win, it might be a. It, here's the thing: it might be a no. It'll be, it might be no count. Yeah, like where Biggie hits doesn't hit one, two, three, and then he rings the bell. He he might not even ring the bell. He might not even call it a winner. He just wants them to be friends again. That's that, that's basically it. But if there's an actual winner, I might have to go with... Wait, there's a net. Okay, move. Um, there, I might have to say Xavier Woods. Be, well, I really don't care, but... I have to say Xavier Woods because, you know, it's his time and... Kofi Kingston, he he might get his you know revenge and you know that's how that's how that's how they always do it you know sometimes the 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 uh, face will get the will get revenge from the heel. This one this match doesn't really have a lot of that doesn't have like a big scenario like all the like all like the other three. Yeah, there's not yeah, it's just pivoting on CM Punk and AJ Lee's. I mean CM Punk. And Seth Rollins have, and I really need to change that. And both of them just can't. Both of them can return at the Royal Rumble, and then they, then they, they, they then they can have a match. And usually they don't pivot to, uh, to their to the you know to couple business basically. Now if it's like a girlfriend and boyfriend like how Liv and Dominic are doing, uh, that's a, that's really a different uh scenario and a different. And just if that's yeah, yeah, that's a really a different scenario. But for this one, this one is not going to happen because I think Becky Lynch is retired. I don't even think Asia Lee is going to ever. I don't think Asia Lee is going to come back like at all. Now this is a random match, and it has better storytelling. You can change this match in any circumstances, and I have another match that you can also change in any circumstances. But I'm really, but I really want to tell you about this match. So you remember when Sammy was in the Bloodline and he had a good friendship with Jay, when uh, Jay Uso wasn't really fooling around with uh, Sammy. The friendship, the friendship he had with the Bloodline was Jimmy, Roman, and Solo. And since, since we have, since we have Sammy and Rom, since we have Sammy, Roman, and Jimmy on the same side. The closest thing to this match is uh, is Solo Sokoa, uh, and also uh, so, uh, Sammy has been take whenever I think yeah okay I remember 
when Solo was going against, I mean, was when Solo joined the bloodline, uh, Sammy was started taking bullets for for uh, Solo Sokoa. And this started becoming a friendship thing. He and I remember, I remember when Solo was NXT champion. Uh, Solo said, "Don't come it, don't come with me, Jay. You're not on, you're not on it today." And then that's when he said, "Sammy, are you coming?" He was on his corner. That was a good friendship. They're they're developing a friendship. This became like a like a Shawn Michaels and Diesel thing. And then you know the couple couple months later they had a match. Sami Zayn broke up with the Bloodline and everything. And I feel like this is a good match because you know the friendship they had they had together. And then I don't know who will get the win because I really like Sami. I really like I also like Solo. Uh, now a lot of people think that Solo should win because you know uh, it's like um, how is it? Like, you know, the storyline with the whole blind, you know, it's like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, they're still in the war and one of them has to win. One of them has to lose for a bloodline to point on the OG bloodline. Let me tell you about this match. So this is like fake Usos versus the real Usos. So there will be a time that Jay Uso will lose his championship to someone. And I'll, t I'll tell you like later in this video, but... But here's what I'm about to say. I think he will pivot to coming back with his brother, coming uh, coming back to Roman, and reunite with his family, and probably have a match, probably have a War Games match, and and they should do this for old time's sakes, for old time's sake. The Uso should win because you know it's going to because you know there's like no one on this roster right now that will be uh. That will be these two. That will be Tonga, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. Until we have someone kind of better, until we have someone better than the than than the bloodline, which is the Usos, the real bloodline, the the real Usos. And when they when the Usos win, they'll be back on square one. And they're not gonna hold the titles for that long. That's all I'm gonna say. I really want to see them lose it. One time, okay, I found the net and it's gone. Okay, what I was about to say, they'll be back on square one. They shouldn't have the titles for that long because I feel like they should drop it to like, you know, the Street Profits, probably DIY, probably, you know, a different tag team or something. This match is actually, un this match is really not finished because, well, to me, well, it's basically finished to me, but in reality, it is not finished. And do you know why? Um, here it is. I think I don't know if Judgment Day will be champions by by WrestleMania. I don't know. But uh, I'm trying to say, well, uh, well, basically Triple H doesn't really book their tag, doesn't book the tag teams good. So I feel like it should be Damian Priest going and his mystery uh, mystery partner going against uh, these two. So. I have three people that can be his partner. My third choice, which is very low, is R Truth. He might be busy with with the Miz, obviously. My second choice is Buddy Matthew, is Buddy Murphy, because and it's basically because of Rhea. I know Buddy Murphy is in AEW, because you know around you know late November or late December. There'll be you know changes, and then probably around the Royal Rumble they'll make their comeback or something, or around WrestleMania to be honest. And then my first choice, like my number one choice, it's Edge. Yeah, I have to say it's it is it has to be Edge. Like Edge hasn't been on AEW in a very long time. He he injured his leg because I don't remember what the name. Of the injury he had, but I know he injured his leg, so it kind of makes sense that he should, you know, come back to WWE, um, you know, help Damian Priest with the OG Judgment Day versus the new Judgment Day. Now this is like what they're kind of doing right now with the OG Judgment Day versus the new Judgment Day, and it's also like you know the new Bloodline versus the old Bloodline. 
So my so my guess has to be either these three, like R Truth, Buddy Matthews, and Edge. All right, I had to change this match so many times for this championship. Really, I really did have to change this match so many times. My uncle wanted me to keep Trick Williams versus uh, Carmelo Hayes for the U.S. Championship, but I had to cancel it because, uh, well, because of Trick Williams, he became champion, and Carmelo Hayes might be champion still, but but uh, Trick Williams, I don't even know how long he will have the title. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, now this match. So these two have never set foot in a ring before. I think LNA might lose the championship to um, to Jacob Fatu. And for a while, uh, he will have a match here and there, and then that's when he'll counter KL. It's been a, it's been a, to be honest, it's been a very long time since KO has held a held a singles title in WWE. Now will KO win? I don't know. But Jacob Fatu might win because there are other people. There are other people that he can lose the title to. Like, like I can just name a few. But to be honest, I don't know. I feel like Kevin Owens should should at least win one more championship before you know retiring. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, before I actually end this, I don't even think he will be you know on to. Um, I don't know if he'll be on to this this championship because I saw a heel turn against Cody Rhodes. Like, what the heck? I don't even know if I like him no more. Now let me tell you about this match. I had to find so many people to dethrone Jey Uso. At first, I thought it was going to be Dom. Even though he's a good heel for John Cena's face, I don't even know if he's going to be, uh, you know, I don't know if uh, this will happen. I just don't know. Like, Well, wait, there is a reason why. Because I feel like there is someone else Kind of better than Don to, you know, the throne him, which is the, basically the Miz. Now we'll talk about the Miz later, and I'll tell you why. Another one is Big Bronson Reed. He's he's a big guy for John Cena to face, and I feel like it will be a good match. Another one is Karrion Cross. Well, he is an option, but I don't think it will be a good idea. But well, it's a good idea because you know he always has a victim. He always have, has a victim. He always will want, you know, the Intercontinental Championship and John Cena. And then I was mostly leaning on Chad Gable because this kind of reminds me of John Cena versus Kurt Angle. Now, Kurt Ang now obviously Chad Gable is Kurt Angle, and then John Cena is John Cena, obviously. And he and they might he might they might go back to back deserving moments like like this. And he is a real heel, and he is a heel, and he puts, and he also puts on a five star match again. He could go against a five star match with John Cena. And then that's, and then I finally chose the Miz. I know the Miz really well. He knows, he know how important, he knows how important Jay's title title match was against Braun Breaker. Now, whoa, what did I write? Now he knows that if if he wins, he'll be the most he he'll be the most uh, hated heel probably in WWE history, probably outside of Don. And now, do you remember WrestleMania 27 when the when the Miz beat John Cena? And it was mostly because of The Rock, right? Huh, let me be in the middle. It's mostly because of The Rock. Now this can be like their rematch where the Miz is the bad guy and John Cena is the superhero and they'll face each other in a real fight, no disqualifications. And it'll be John Cena's time. That's why I'm saying John Cena will win because he is my favorite wrestler of all time. And then also this can kind of pivot to John Cena and R-Truth encountering, kind of being a little tag team, probably so. 
and everything. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to say. Let's go back to WrestleMania 40. Uh, so, you remember Naomi and Bianca and Jay Cargill started their friendship at WrestleMania 40. And what I'm thinking is that when, when Bianca is gone, that will be that would be Jay's time to shine to win, you know, a championship. And from the push that she is deserving, she might really turn heel. And that's when Bianca comes back, probably wins the Royal Rumble. Or I actually don't know who's gonna win this year's Royal Rumble. But I have to think about I have to, you know, think about this. If and, and if she does win the Royal Rumble, she might face Jay Cargill. And then Naomi becomes the third wheel in this rivalry. And that will be for, that will that will form a triple threat match. Now everybody's gonna mostly lean on Jay Cargill to win. Because Jay because Bianca will pass the torch like Coco in an Ultimate Warrior. Cause she, I'm cause I think ult no. Hulk Hogan is undefeated at WrestleMania. And that's when Ultimate Warrior broke his streak and, and he passed the torch to, to Ultimate Warrior. So, and another thing, I don't know if Bianca, and I also think that Bianca will win because I don't know if she's gonna lose at WrestleMania. She, so, since they did really good with a ladder match, wait, I'm trying to find, yeah, there's my, Person. Wait, I skipped so many, so many matches. But yeah, okay. They did really good with, with the ladder match last year. I feel like they should do it again, but for the women's division. So I have Zelina Vega, Liv Morgan, Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss, Oscar, and Rhea. Now everybody's gonna lean. I feel like everybody will lean on Zelina Vega because it. It's really her. It should be her time. Like, like Nia Jax has already been champion multiple times. Liv Morgan might come out as champion. Probably still. Probably I don't know. Uh, and then we have the. the wait, did the game start? Oh. All right. Uh, I'm watching uh, the Cowboys versus the Steelers. Uh, so we have Alexa Bliss making her return. And then and I don't know, if, yeah. And she's she's not gonna win, cause cause it might be that late later in the future, but not now. Oscar, she she's getting old. Like no no disrespect, but I feel like she should win, and she hasn't even had a had a she never won at WrestleMania. And then Rhea Ripley, now is she undefeated? No, she's not undefeated at WrestleMania. I have to think about that one. But she already had had her long had a long time reign. I don't even feel like we should have a long time reign right now. That's why I'm that's why I'm saying Cody Rhodes will dethrone the Rock. I'm gonna keep bringing that up. Now let me tell you about this, Robert. Let me tell you about this match. I changed it so many times because I wanted John Cena to dethrone Gunther, but I rather has a, I rather have him as um, Intercontinental Champion. And then we have th we have these two, Seth Rollins and Punk. They they haven't had a match. Drew versus Punk. Everybody's saying that rivalry has ended, but I don't even. I think it's done for now. And Gunther, I don't even know who, who's going to drop the title to. Now a lot of people are saying John Cena. Everybody's going to say Punk and other people. So I and also I feel like it's time for that. It's time for CM Punk to main event WrestleMania. So I just put a fatal four way with with CM Punk and CM Punk, Seth, Drew, and Gunther. And everybody will lean on Gunther, Punk, and Drew. Cause I don't even think Seth is going to win. I really like I really like Seth. But I don't think it's but he already held it. Already, he already held it. He had a, he had a good run and just etc. But I feel like Drew should could win because you know he hasn't he hasn't had a he hasn't had a world title ever since losing it. And um and then we have Punk winning his first ever WrestleMania main event. And then we have 
uh, Gunther. Now, Gunther, he can hold the title for, I don't even know if he's going to hold the title for that long, but I'm just going to keep it like, I'm just going to keep it like this. Okay, there's not really much to talk about because I kept saying that The Rock will dethrone Cody Rhodes. Now, a lot of people think that Cody Rhodes will main event WrestleMania once again because, you know, because he's still champion and everything. But I don't want, I don't really want Cody to overshadow this match because we already had Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. But I feel like, you know, it's going to be his retirement year, just like John Cena. And, you know, the whole we want Cody thing that has happened. I feel like we should forget about that for now. And then let's focus on Rock versus Roman. Now, I feel like Rock versus Roman will happen because The Rock has to pass the torch to Roman Reigns. And he will have, I'm, I'm going to let him have, we should let him have the title for a little bit. And then he will drop it to someone. And it can be, it can be bloodline rules. It can be tribal combat. This is for the WWE Championship and the Ula follow on the line. Now, Bloodline Rules is obviously known as, you know, everybody coming out. And then the, and there's, going, there's like someone big coming out. Like, wow. And then that will be the end of the feud. My dad has been wanting this to be, to, to be over. My mom has been wanting this to be over. I've been wanting this to be over for a very long time. I feel like it should be done from, it should be done. All right, y'all, that, that is all the time that I have today. I'm about to go eat. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below and tell me um, tell me who should I add for for um, for next time's WrestleMania 41 predictions. I know I left a lot out. I, I know I left out a lot of people. I left out LA Knight. I left out um, Andrade, Dominic Mysterio, Rey Mysterio. But, you know, make sure you guys leave the comments down below and tell me uh, what other matches do you want. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe to Multiverse Lovers, and that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.